Oh, shit. <laughs> what do I even do with this shit? It was fine. <laughs> A fucking beautiful cloth. <laughs> Oh yeah! Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Holy shit! We just saw Frankie rise from the ashes on the video. <laughs> was that your feet? Yeah. Was, yeah, I was kicking my feet when I was laughing. Wow. It's Cheers fat people problem boys. when you're trying to get up and you're like. Ugh. I our, got fat people problems right now. To our third quarantine port podcast. Cheers, boys. So that means you guys, three weeks. It's been how do you guys one? put your socks on? What do you mean? You guys rest. Do you guys like rest one leg? You yep. rest one I'm leg. Fat and like push. that. That's, yep. yep. Get it up here. See, I put my socks on. Like what? Right I can't. <laughs> you I can't like, do it. I have to throw it down. <laughs> you got to lasso your shoe, your sock on? You're, see, that's fucking weird. You're one of those psychos. You you do probably put the hangers from the inside out. I put my socks on like that, like straight, and then I, woo. What are you putting ah. fucking nylons on all the way up? See, I got midget. Pull <laughs> your foot out, you fucking I can't. It on, slip it out. What do you mean? I got midget legs. Oh. So, I put my so socks on crooked. No, it's got like the stitching, and then the then stitching's it. crooked. <laughs> I'd like to get it oh. first shot. I got first midget shot legs, man. Is that the only time you touch your socks through the whole day? Is That's that it? it? Unless I want one to time. Go. Just one time. <laughs> then I take them bitches off. Jesus. Oh, fuck. I'm turning up my uh, monetary. Hello? Chicken sandwich? Yeah. How's that? You good? Yeah. Good. Okay. I think I'm down now. I'm okay. <laughs> Everybody been good. I know uh, no one's been leaving the house. Yeah, I've been I've been oh. in this chair. I haven't left this chair. <laughs> I nap all day. Oh, <laughs> actually, today is like the first day I didn't shower. Got up, shower, made breakfast, did laundry. So they don't have showers on Mars. <laughs> I think you thought they don't even have the air. showers would be so cool in Mars that like ooh. the acid rain. Watch out! He's acid. Oh man, Sky, he's been balling it up. How is VR? You you bought virtual reality like the perfect time right before the quarantine. Dude, literally, I bought it like the week before shit got crazy. Yeah. Um, huh. we, always make, we always make funny. There's either there a red dot on your ceiling or it's on my TV. Oh, that's oh, maybe huh? that's from the app. Is that the app? Yeah, that's for your okay your start button. Your notifications. <laughs> I think you've dot. been here before. <laughs> yeah, the fuck, Ricky Biatch. We've only been doing this for like three weeks. See, the camera that you guys see me on isn't the same camera as what's on the podcast. I don't know what you're talking about. I have the webcam going for Skype and the other cam going for the fucking podcast. Oh. So the view is different, so I don't give a fuck what you guys see. The only thing that matters is what's on the screen. (laughs) <laughs> one red dot well new i had to buy a light because the lighting shit. Red. <laughs> so it's sitting literally right next to the camera shit i want to turn my lights off this is like the first time my lights have been on today yeah well you probably fall asleep <laughs> yeah oh big stretch so you've been doing oh, good yeah. fellas yeah, I guess. I mean, fuck. Just been chilling out. Kids are off school, but they're like off school and off school. Yeah. So, no they don't homework. have to do school at home. Right. Till Tuesday. So that's been nice. Not having to try and wrangle up. 
wrangle up these little bastards. <laughs> wrangle, wrangle up the kids and be like, get on the computer and do your homework. When's school over anyways? Next month? Yeah. Beginning of May June. or end of May? June, sir. Yeah, June. Summer. Right? Yeah, first week of June. I feel like you're off. I feel like, no, I feel like school is over before Memorial Day weekend. No. I think that's when it's... No, that's like... I think within... they start, like, don't they start Labor Day and... And more, or uh, yeah, summer starts. God, now I'm all fucked up. Summer <laughs> starts Memorial Day weekend, right? And then it ends. They go back to school. Of no, yeah, Labor that's Day what I thought. Labor, Labor Day. Day. No, they don't. They go to school after, like two weeks after Memorial Day. I don't know. <laughs> Bless it's, you. It's it was June sixth for us. So. <laughs> That's what it was when I was in school, at least. Yeah, well, that was like 50 years ago. <laughs> <sighs> Shit's changed since then. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> it's a few things. It's 23. A asshole. couple things have changed. You know? It's 23. You don't have asshole. to get picked up by the comic, horse and carriage. Common Core math the anymore. No, they're doing Common Core math now. Well, now they are since they've been home. I don't know about the seven boxes. That shit's out of control. Daughter? What does Y equal? Uh-oh. I just want to know what Y equals. Oh, hi, <laughs> Belle. Look at her and Mama Cupcake. Oh, my ladies. She's lacking on her duties. What are you watching? I'm watching a naked equal. Oh, my God. Mama. Can you bring this upstairs, honey? I'm almost done. Uh, no, Don't thank you. Fire. Don't lie to your children. Say so you're almost done. That's not Just a lie. started this party. Shut up. It's not a lie. It's not yeah. a lie. Nice Groucho Marx eyes there, bud. I started. It means I'm, I'm going to be done. Yeah. Your logic, man. Yeah. And that I'm already, I'm I don't already know what's admit. better. What is going well, you on with quiet. your hair? How dare you. What do you mean? It's a clock. You? Bro, he doesn't need what to do... do he doesn't leave the house. Why does he have to worry about his fucking hair? I'm just wondering when he started the quaff. I don't know, but I'm not even growing out a mullet, and, and you have been for six months, and mine's hair is longer than yours. Bro, I, <laughs> That is... No, dude, where is it? Dude, I don't just, know. It just looks like you haven't got a haircut in like two weeks. I haven't your got a haircut. It doesn't grow on your fucking chins, and your hair doesn't grow It doesn't grow on my fucking face. T-shirt line. I haven't shaved or uh, got my hair cut in a month. You're stereotypical Italian. No, longer than that. Your hair grows in douchey like you're going to go to the Jersey Shore and go fucking fist bump. That's why they don't grow it out. They're all clean shaved because it don't grow unless they do the chin strap. You need the chin strap. Yeah. Can you bring it back, Frankie? Or just a flavor saver. Yeah. Oh, I got I got a thick one of those right now. Ooh, that's some food in there. What we got? Huh? Some pizza crumbs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad this the is waffles? going on the internet. Some crust crumbs? <laughs> Bro, I never had a beard. This is the first time I've had a beard, and this isn't even a beard. It's yeah, not, it's a, not beard. a beard. Jeff's got the, the mustache of all mustaches. That's like a guy has one little gold chain on. He's like, look, I'm Mr. T. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> not quite no. what's going I mean, on with, you, with your mustache I must ask <laughs> you got no, just the handlebar there you, you go the chops in bro no just the handlebar that's the calling sign for the grom squad right you gotta have the handlebars and the shitty haircut yeah mm -hmm. super quaffs we're gonna call it <laughs> <laughs> Good Look at Sean Wig. <laughs> I'll just nice toupee. Brush my beard over. <laughs> yeah, brush. <laughs> you ever seen that when he swoops the beard all the way over? <laughs> just <laughs> over. When was the last time you yeah, seen your chin? Before you seen uh, both of those. Yeah. This beard was started growing out from the uh, 
I was like, I ain't shaving until the Bears win a Super Bowl after the double doink. No. Oh, you look like ZZ Top here. Yeah. <laughs> and the gray's coming in hard, too, so I'm really going to look like ZZ Top. Get it, bro. Jesus. At what point do you Super just, Bowl, like... Yeah, what Super... you're going to get to some point where you're like, fuck this. Oh, it'll happen eventually. Well, yeah, I, I mean... My chin in, like, 15 years. Might see a unicorn, too, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, can't be too careful. I use it as a filter <laughs> from the corona. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a virus dude. catcher right there. Right? Dude, I haven't got it yet, so it must be lucky. I'm not going to lie, Sean, that, uh, that meme that you sent me of... Um, the PlayStation I was, I was... 4. <laughs> yeah, I, I said it four times. <laughs> this is not the apocalypse I wanted. I wanted zombies. <laughs> Not coronavirus. I was fucking dying. This apocalypse is bullshit. This apocalypse is bullshit. <laughs> that, w- that one was good. And like I said, can you tell me about the coronavirus, Daddy? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. I got to stay home, play PlayStation 4, and smoke weed all day. Legend. Yeah. I've been preparing for this my whole life. Oh, uh, yeah. This is my dream in, in high school. Right? Now you guys are three weeks in and losing your shit. Man, I'm all right. Jeff, yeah. Jeff dressing like Joe Exotic last week. Is mm. Frankie hasn't seen the sunlight. Oh shit. Frankie. Well, you th- gotta have a. Uh, you know, you gotta entertain yourself somehow in these trying times. Frankie's starting to look like one of the motherfuckers that played powder. Hell yeah. Started to look like a I don't know if it's just your your lighting or what. You are white as the driven snow. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's a light right above me. Uh, yeah, but you're you're, you're looking like I pure do. Colombian gold, buddy. Shit. So yeah, I ain't been doing much, man. Surfing the Trying to, this Surfing. savage. Really Last really night, uh, I'm up in the the bedroom, and uh, it's about. Three o'clock in the morning, and Bella's like, "Daddy, I'm gonna go play Barbies in my room." <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're not. Holy, we're shit. going to bed, right? What time did you go to bed? Three thirty in the morning, dude. What time did you get up, child? What time did you get up this morning? I was up at six thirty for some. Oh, eleven thirty, something like that. Oh, that ain't 11:30? bad. Eleven thirty? That ain't bad. Bro, that's why she's up till 3.30. If she's up till 3.30, that's why she slept till 11.30. <laughs> right. Wake her ass up at 7. I bet you she goes to bed at 10. I can't because I wasn't getting up at 7. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> she's on daddy's schedule right now. I was up right, before. She tried getting up. I got up at 11. I didn't go to bed till like 5.30. Okay, daughter. Thank you. I'll make your doggy popsicle. Oh my god! It's weird because my dog just eats regular popsicles. <laughs> yeah, they're making doggy ice cream. Stop feeding your dog popsicles, man. I'm eating the popsicle, and she just won't get out of your face. She loves Bring ice cream and popsicles. Bring it to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's go a lot eat your shitter and eat your mother. ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Lock yourself in the in the john and eat that popsicle. <laughs> why you why you take a her? shit for ruse the internet? Go ask mama for an ice cream. Yeah, she's gonna do tell it. her the fuck. What? <laughs> Bella, this is the gentleman's den, and you're all up in my <laughs> bed. Dude, technically he is in the gentleman's den. Yeah, three men. This is, this is the podcast not called Three Men and a Baby. Hey. <laughs> Open the door, honey. No. Why don't you go grab a little primer? Why don't you go grab a popsicle and go lay with mommy? Yes. Nope. And she's gone. Look okay, that. honey. Oh. I love you. Okay, <laughs> no, no, no. If you get a popsicle, you got to take it up by mommy or I'm going to break it in half. 
I'm going to break it in half. <laughs> my fat ass is going to eat the other one. Right. That half's mine. Just give me the goddamn soap. <laughs> Just give me the goddamn pit. Uh, <sighs> reference. True uh, lies. Yeah, so. You catching up on good movies or what? What's going on here? Everyone just hooked on uh, I'm almost done with Ozark. I'm all caught up all on Westworld. So, Ooh. Westworld, <laughs> it's, it's getting a little crazy. Oh, good crazy or bad crazy? I can't really tell. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Westworld. I'm so, like, conflicted. Yeah. Not Westworld anymore. It's something else. But it's it's a really good show. I'm, it's I'm, East I'm world. <laughs> yeah, Far East. <laughs> Jesus. Far East world. So. Yeah, I just East started. East Coast. I, I started, Far East Coast. I started watching that new show on Netflix, Bru- Bruce Brothers. It's it's like the league with beer. Um. There's just a bunch of friends football? who have. It's two brothers that own a microbrewery trying to sell their beer and they both hate each other. So it's beer fest. No, they hate each other. No, no, no. Bring that upstairs, honey. Uh, I guess they did. <laughs> <laughs> That's dad. That, there's daddy's girl right there. Oh, you gotta be quiet, though, because I'm doing this daddy. podcast with my friends. Look at them. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Look at my little munchers. I uh, ran into Mangold right. today. I don't really want a popsicle now. This is some bullshit. I ran into uh, Mangold at the grocery just, store today. Just, 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 just sit down, child. Wow. CD was skipping. Remember the CD skipping? You're glitching the Matrix. No, 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 no. All right, we're going to have to go upstairs, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> Orange popsicle juice. Everywhere. All over the place. I'm going to bring her upstairs. Why don't you guys just go ahead and get started on the topic I wanted to talk about. Vegan yogurt. I'll be right back. <laughs> Vegan yogurt. What is going on with his hair? I don't I, know. I, 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 is that a real thing? Vegan yogurt? I'm sure Tell me it it's is. a real thing. I mean, yeah, because Tom Brady Wait. eats avocado ice cream, so. Vegan yogurt. How is that any different than... He really is. Is this just some stupid thing that he splurred out of his mouth, and now I'm talking about it? Yeah. Now I don't want to talk about it, but I'm gonna keep talking about it because yeah, 100%. vegan yogurt isn't. I mean, 100%. what is vegan? You juice shit anyways, right? You put a bunch of fucking vegetables no, in this man. man or... just, they don't eat meat or animal products at all. All right. So yogurt is made from milk usually. Oh. Yogurt is a dairy product, so. You're not hurting the cow. I get what you're saying, though. You Whatever. Are, you are hurting the cow. You're stealing its milk from its young. I don't. I don't know, man. I I'll like tell it you when right my now. Get rubbed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna chug as much milk as I can. I love milk. I'm, you can't change me. I'm gonna eat cheese. I have. I had a grilled cheese with Velveeta. Mac and cheese noodles and Jesus Christ. I had cheese on top of cheese for dinner tonight. Did you make that yourself or did you order that? No, I made it myself. I don't I'm not ordering food out. I I appreciate people doing their part, but I still just I'm dirty as fuck, so I know some dirty <laughs> motherfuckers out there. In true where you live it's it's filthy. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, uh I had a good breakfast though. I made sausage patties. Real little thin ones, and then uh, I took the waffles, and I took you know broke it into the little squares. And then I took some bacon and syrup and sausage, bacon, waffle sandwiches. I wasn't stoned at all. Oh. Yeah, it was. Well, yeah, it was. Fat Island. Fat Island, bro. Like they said, you're gonna go either way with this quarantine, and you're coming out shredded, looking like a fat. boxer. Like that pitcher. Your pants don't fit no more. I remember a long time ago we were going to do a a weight loss challenge between the three of us. I think I've gained 20 pounds since then. Oh, dude, I gained everything (laughs) I lost back, bro. I don't think I lost anything. 
I'm, I think I've plateaued. I think I'm right where I'm going to be. Frankie gets his always room to, standing there's up always room to grow. Frankie gets his <laughs> exercise standing up all day with a fucking headset on. Uh, yeah, I've actually, this new game, uh, we are, you're <laughs> flying, there's, there's literally like infinite planets and you can explore, it's an explore survivor game. So you can go. Easy for, shot. For I wouldn't do that. Fucking anyway. years. <sighs> Shut up. Be right out. Sean just saw, I saw him. He just laid back. <laughs> something. I was scratching my oh. leg. Adjusting ah. my pants. I should, I, I'm not wearing sweatpants like your basketball shorts like you fools. I got a pair of jeans on. I've I haven't worn jeans and. Oh, yeah, jeans on. I went out today. I haven't changed. Oh. I got pink hey, flamingo. Go? It's I short to time. The store. I had to get my shit. Uh, All right. Well, talk amongst yourselves. So I got to go pee. What? You got to go potty. You know, You're we used to be so up. professional. We used you to be feel... so professional. We took the serious, you know. Oh, now look at us. Too now look at us. Some fucking wannabes. We been in the stone zone while he's gone. <laughs> What do you mean? I've I've lost it in like a huh? month. You I haven't lost, lost it? it. Yeah, for about fifteen years. I got my buzz back. Woo! I was thinking the other day, why do why do the numbers have to be written out? Just just put a number one. I know what it is. Why do I have to write O N E? So confused. That is a good question. Because if I'm uh, writing a story, I could write out fifty seven or I could just put a five and a seven. <laughs> like every good story, you know? I'll just shorten the book a little bit. And that was probably started by a guy who like needed to write like a fifty seven page book and he was only on like fifty six and he's like, How could I get another page out of this? He's uh, like, I know I'll just I'm going to write the numbers out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to go back and take all the numbers and elongate them. I don't know how you do this. How, why this pops in your head? Because you know, you're writing, not even on my level. I was writing something down. and I was Were like, you writing a check? No, I was like, pick up. <laughs> what was the last time you wrote a check? But let's let's say you it was a big number. Like... You were writing something out, and you had to write, like, 2,567. <laughs> I could just put the 2,567, or it took <laughs> half an hour writing out. <laughs> because there, there's people that have, you know, sloppy handwriting, can't read the numbers. Is that a 6 or an 8? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm so glad I'm I walked back into this conversation. This. Why do I, I, why the numbers have to be written out? It's, it just doesn't make any sense. And now I'm fucking with him on it. I w- I'm totally against this train that he's on, and now I'm with him again. Just like fucking... Right, like if you... If, if, vegan yogurt. If you were writing, if you wrote like, hey, pick up 12 hamburgers from the store, <gasps> would you write out 12, or would you put a 1 and a 2? Well, writing a list... 1 and 2. And... Writing, a, writing a list would be 1 and 2. That's because I'm lazy. Right. I mean, if you want to be proper. Oh, yeah. yeah I, we're proper as fuck. Super. We're gentlemen. Well, you don't see us write it out on our fucking episode. Episode 37. Right. I'm so going to purposely write it out. I want you to episode. write it out the whole thing. I'm going to write out episode 45 just because... Is, yeah. that, is that what this episode's called? <laughs> episode yeah. 45? Episode 45, 45. written why, out long Is this 45? <laughs> why do we uh, write out numbers? <laughs> why haven't we been writing out the numbers this whole time? This doesn't make any sense. Think about how John, much time John, you're your being life. lazy. Don't be lazy. Time is prescient. <laughs> All I gotta do is press buttons, too. It's not like I gotta actually write it out. Right. So. Yeah, you're not even writing. <laughs> uh, fuck. Everyone's getting a little slap happy and a little crazy. 
Oh, I'm yeah, also I just a little the Stone Zone, guys. Little Stone Zone. I was watching. Welcome to the Stone Zone. Man of Spin Records. I was drinking beers with him. Oh yeah, internet. doing a little cheers. I tuned out as soon as I tuned on. I heard an air horn and, and oh, oh yeah, yeah. And Jeff <laughs> shut oh, it yeah. off. Damn son, I was waiting you for a damn this? son. Where'd you find this? But it never came. Happy birthday, oh. Mike Manis. Hey, so, happy birthday, brother. Hopefully that, he's gonna uh, do it. Uh, he should do this see. every weekend. Just do a little fucking right? porn t- DJ set. Why not? Because if he does that, you know what I think I can finally get. A mix CD? Tape. He said he made it for you since he's had a bunch of time on his hands. You know what he's doing to me? He's lying to me like a child, like you did to your daughter. Yeah, I, I made you a CD. I got, I got one for you to jam. Yeah. I don't even think... My car doesn't even have a fucking CD player, bro. Dude, see? CDs are obsolete. Yeah, That's now, now he's got to drop a mix in your Dropbox. How do I do that? <laughs> I, don't even know, I wouldn't even know how to do, use it. Or email you one. You record the set. He just has to send, send it on it to the line. Send it to the cloud. <laughs> it's, it's on the line. Send it on the line. On the yeah. line. It's on the line. Holy shit. Holy shit. <sighs> so we were in the news. My work was in the news. For... I've seen that. Yeah. You guys are essential. Well, no, we're making, you guys are making face masks. dildos now? All the women, home? that's awesome. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, we're making polycarbonate dildos because that was the way it hurt. That is essential. All. Yeah. No, you guys are making like legit. Yeah. So what are you guys doing? Everything, everything else is on halt. No, we uh, dude, we can. I cut all those sheets for the for those masks, and it took us twenty minutes for two hundred parts to get them cut. They just got to mold them after that. Yeah. What sucks is my my girlfriend. She's obviously in the uh, the nursing field, and they give her a mask at the beginning of the week. It's got to last all week. <laughs> Fucking crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, but the masks we're making are like shields, like basically windshields for your face. Yeah. Well, now they're like they have to wear. Before they were just if you went into the room. Yeah. You know, you had to put on your protective stuff, and then you could like. But now they have to wear this shit all day, every day. Face mask all day, all that shit. So crazy, man. God, the, the amount of people that are going to have acne issues from these masks, because their face is sweating. <laughs> it's going to be yeah, gnarly. It's better than, the, it's better than better COVID-19, than, I guess. Right? Better, better than the Rona. We wore masks to the store the other day. Well, she wore a mask. I had a bandana. I I mean, if you want, I do have a an extra N95 mask if you want it. Well, I don't go out much. Yeah, Just I know. Just one time. I don't use them anyway. One I time, use a bandana. General. This was my, my mask from when I did uh, instruction. It was in my tool bag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this mask, breathing into this mask probably worse than, yeah, you're breathing, than breathing the air in Walmart here. All the dust. It was like... Yeah, it's just crazy. Particles. It doesn't go any way. I mean, you guys might get it and be fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's right, just like scary to say. Like, Tom Hanks and his wife aren't they home? Yeah, they're all home. good to go. Yep. Pink, Pink has it, and her she's fine. Her year old too. daughter or something. She's doing yeah. well too. It just affects certain people differently. Right, exactly. And, but. I ain't trying to affect nobody, so I'm yeah. trying to do my part and be a good well, American. Well, like I said, it's, but everyone's bitching. it's not about me getting sick. It's about me spreading it on to somebody else. I can give right. a fuck if I get sick. If I get sick, I get sick. I just don't want anybody else to get it. Well, we don't want been, my to get I it. get sick five times a year. <clears throat> well, that's because as soon as the winter comes, you don't leave the basement except to come over and do the podcast. I was there every Saturday. Again. I didn't miss till the till the Rana hit. Yeah, one podcast without you. Yeah, I was there every week, sick or not. Made Me it too. through. Uh, I remember you being hungover one day, like, 
let's do it next week. Yeah, we could have did it, but... We've missed two weeks because I was super you know sick, too. Yeah, there, I've been yeah. sick as fuck yeah, yeah. still I, yeah. throw my ass out there. This... The guns were grit. I'm not going to lie, that just really hurt. Well, it... then my shoulder and elbow popped at the same time. Holy shit, you're getting old. You're aging way quick. I just haven't, I haven't moved these, I've been in a VR, bro. I haven't moved out of this chair. You need vitamin D in your life too, bud. You should see the vitamins that I picked up last week. Well, like two weeks ago when this all started. Was it, was it um, all vitamin they're D? They're Ollie's. They're called Molly? Ollie. O-L-L-Y. Ollie? Yeah, Ollie. They're vitamins? Yeah, so I got a, a men's they? multivitamin. Chewable? I got... They're gummy bears. Yeah, chewable gummies. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> I like swallowing pills. Of course they are, you fucking five-year-old. <laughs> but they say men's. They're not children gummies. They say men's. So I got one I, I couldn't swallow pills when I was a kid. I used to have to crush up the pills and put them in applesauce. <laughs> so oh I, couldn't, my I couldn't swallow the big pills when I was a child. Yeah, you oh. can now, though. So I have a nice big gag reflex, like you fucking clowns. <laughs> no, I, I can barely put. Frankie's, I can barely eat a pickle without. Frankie choking. last year stopped eating Flintstone chewables and moved up to <laughs> adult vitamins. Yeah, fine. as soon as he found like, out that he had no vitamin, I got probiotic. Uh, <laughs> I got one for energy. I got one for focus. I got one for stress. <laughs> that focus one's a bullshit one because you haven't been focused at all. <laughs> what do you mean? I played fucking 18 hours in VR straight. Are these dick pills from the gas station? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you... The horny goat the... weed? What are you... <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you... Gas station right dick now. pills has saved his life. They're vitamins. <laughs> I've never had so much energy vitamins. in my life. They're gummies. Like, in like the, the fucking morning, beat my boner down with a stick. <laughs> feel like I should go get them all and like put them on display. No. Got like eight yeah. gummies I take every morning. What do you mean, bro? I'm trying to get sponsored. Yeah, but you're taking gummies. You fucking. Yeah. You can't eat regular vitamins. You gotta eat, you gotta get chewable ones that look like candy. Yeah, I like them. It's in this big, these big containers. I get up in the morning. I take. I gotta take my private sit. You know, my acid reflex. Get your hand away from my face. But, oh, God. Dude, you better watch out for that Prevacid because that fucking Zantac shit's giving people cancer. Uh, yeah, I don't take that one, though. Yeah, I'm just saying. They're both the same guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get cancer no matter what, dude. It's inevitable. I just want to enjoy my time. And you want to enjoy what is time? What is with this guy and is me- mesmerized by his fucking cat? Yeah, we can see your cat. My fucking check came in, dude. I bought a Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Two grand. Is that fucking a little baby beauty. bobcat? You gonna name yeah. him Bob? Yeah. Bobcat. It looks like a bobcat. Mama cupcake. <clears throat> oh. Fuck that cat. <laughs> fucking slice. That cat was about to eat that fucking hamster. <laughs> It's a dwarf hamster, guys. Yeah, well, that fucker was gonna rip it through the cage as soon as you walked out of the room. What does what does what does it mean? She was trying to figure out. She was trying to figure out how to open that door the whole time you walked out of that room. She just kept staring at it. I was watching the battle. I was just gonna let it happen. I'm just. This is. It's a circle of life. Evolution. Yeah. It's, yeah. This is just natural. I mean, I'm just gonna. I had to. I couldn't interfere. Oh, so the circle of life song that's played from the fucking Lion King. <laughs> that fucking thing. She bit me. That's what she yeah. does. I'm still I'm training saying. her. You know, I'm saying still training her. She's got a lot of. <laughs> How to work so you to told do. me that there was another episode of Tiger King that's coming out. Is that a real Supposedly. thing? Supposedly. Supposedly. Did you hear the all... big thing about so that Jeff Lowe guy? This is the big conspiracy. Jeff Lowe is Carol Baskin's first husband. Oh, he just changed his look. Well, if you like match up their faces, it's like fucking identical. And then they're saying that. 
you know, she killed her husband. Now she's got all his millions. And Jeff Lowe acts like this big baller. Like Carol Baskin's giving him money. And then he, he took over the fucking Joe Exotic's business and all the shit. Ruined him. It's not a bad theory. Conspiracy theory, <laughs> it's bro. It's not a bad, not a bad theory. theory at all. <laughs> Damn. There's I mean, a, I can see that. There's I'm also... In, uh, it, guys. 100%. Well, he for sure went there with the intentions to fuck that dude over. Like, oh, yeah. 200%. And he, to get there his wasn't girlfriend a... back in the gym as soon as possible. As <laughs> soon as possible. Because now all you, all you can do is watch me bang the nanny. nanny. You can't join in. <laughs> Their nanny's so hot. It's ridiculous. I couldn't even look her. I couldn't even look at her that long. Right. It burned my eyes. I was like, ah, yeah. I was like, fuck, she's too hot. I can't. <laughs> It's like, oh, fuck. It's like staring it's like into you, an eclipse. It's like when you see a god chick and like, you kind of look and you make eye contact and you look away. It's only a picture, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what? Can't even look at her picture? Huh? You know, like you're, you're, when you're fucking... No, I'm taking a picture for later. Spank back. Spank back. <laughs> you guys seen Hall Pass, right? Yes, sir. Fake chow. Every uh, blah, night. Blah, 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 blah. Every night I'm at the sushi bar. <laughs> My mic went out. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. So, yeah. What else is going on, guys? There's. It's so funny trying to think of topics to talk about because there's nothing going on <laughs> besides COVID nineteen. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I haven't really. So what's new? About... What, what's gone I mean, I just... on since I talked to you last? I was looking at old pictures and I saw a picture of you were skinny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when I was skinny in grade school, <laughs> and we won like a basketball tournament, and I was holding this trophy, <laughs> and I was like just thinking about. I, I thought like a trophy was like this prestigious thing, and then when I got older. That they're made in the back of some fucking shop for like five bucks. <laughs> right. Like, I got a trophy. I'm like, I, like was... I could have went, you tell me I could have went to this bodega and paid 25 <laughs> right. bucks and got a six foot trophy. <laughs> what do you want it to say on there, kid? Could you imagine <laughs> if you knew that? Ever. If I knew that in grade school, I would have just had a fucking room full of trophies like your friends come over. Like, yeah. yeah, bro. Check out my trophies. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just start making trophies. So once we get back into the gentlemen's, then we have a bunch of trophies behind us. I'm in. <laughs> well, at this one's got a two, tennis player. It's shit number there. one. I didn't even know you played tennis. Yeah. <laughs> back in fifth grade. I quit that. That was too good. <laughs> one state, three years in a row. Yeah. Only played two years. This one says champion power lifter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to be super big. Yeah. <laughs> used to live a lot. That I, that's when I was on the juice today, it's great. Oh. <laughs> you guys... Yeah, I, just, I just thought it was so funny. Like, you just... Just holding that trophy, you had the biggest smile on your face, this plastic-ass oh, piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> you felt like you accomplished, you could do anything. Right. Like, it was like a gold medal from the Olympics. Right? I wonder where those are made. Same place? No, those are actually <laughs> pressed. Those are real. Are those actually made out of gold, silver, and bronze? <laughs> yes, those are real. Those are, are you sure? Yeah. We need to Google this. <laughs> no, yeah, no, they Google. are because uh, <laughs> Kurt Angle, the professional wrestler that was an Olympic gold medalist, said Don't he Don't tell me he, took the, he, he went to bite it and no, then no. it didn't crack. No, no, he wore it so yep, much. Yep, it's real gold. <laughs> he wore it so much that the gold was wearing flat, so you couldn't even tell if it was a gold medal anymore or the... The where he got the gold medal from it just looked like a chunk of gold hanging from his neck. Oh, wow! Why he, does everyone bite him? Because that's the first thing they do when they take a picture is they bite it. <laughs> well, what's the uh, what did the uh, prospectors used to do? They found a gold rock, they bit into it. If it was soft, it was gold. If it, it was just a hunk of metal, they'd crack a tooth. I know, but they're not doing it to test if it's real gold. They're just doing it to take a picture. Well, it's just... You are on video, Frankie, just to remind you. What, I can't scratch my nose? It looked like you, real went, it looked like you went in there real deep with your thumb. Real deep like I got all of in there? 
I mean, shit, I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't matter if I did. Got a deviated septum, bro. Leave him alone. I got one nostril. If I want to fucking put my finger in it. <laughs> but now I just a little, 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 little scratch of the nostril on the side there. His mustache is, uh... Well, with the quarantine going on, do we have any, bad cats. any Florida fuckery or what? Are they all in lockdown? I haven't even been looking because I guarantee it's all it is is going to be like man arrested for being outside his meth lab because he didn't, wasn't wearing a mask after 8 o'clock. Oh. Right down the street in Arlington Heights with the ring doorbell, it captured uh, two dudes wearing their gloves, wearing their masks, knocked on this door. They answered it. He was like, oh, hey, what's up, boss? Walked inside. They both had guns. Tried robbing these people and shit. The one dude beat the fuck out of the owner of the house, beat the fuck out of one of the guys. He ran away and got in his Lexus to, to drive away, left, leaving the other guy in there where the guy had his wife. Is that the dude who was naked on the porch? No. Like, they, dude, oh. they, they literally went up to, like, the ring doorbell and, like, pushed it. And then, like, Covered his, the camera with his hand, and then was just like, "Ah, eh, fuck it, I got a mask and gloves on. It doesn't matter." You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and they opened the door, and these people just charged right in. And I, I don't know if they what they what their intentions were and shit, but yeah, the uh, one guy ended up he the owner of the house ended up killing one of the dudes. The dude that got left behind, he went back in there and grabbed yeah, his wife's pistol. And, yeah. I'm, I'm well, just, there's crazy fucking people out in this world, man, it's doing stupid things still, like, like going outside. Period. The uh, the there's a fighter, Anthony Smith. Someone broke into his house. Oh, that poor <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> and why would burglars think it's a good fucking time to break into people's houses now? Because everyone's home. Right. I, that, I'm gonna tell you right now. Be you're a, supposed to wait till they post on Facebook that they're in like Costa Rica. That's right. Strike. That's, 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 if someone yeah. broke in the house now, they'd be a dead motherfucker. That's all I gotta say. Right. You know how much ammo I went and got. <laughs> Dude, God. I might have time to reload a clip and put it in them. <laughs> I'll just grab the next one. <laughs> well, no, I'll. I got an I got an old fashioned too, Call but... me old fashioned, but I got a broomstick. Well, hey, in all honesty, yeah. if you, if, yeah. you I, I already told stick. you, if you want me to give you one of my shotguns to just have over there, I have no problem uh, doing that. Yeah, that's the last thing that needs to be in that house. Yeah. All of a sudden, Kayla will be like, I think the cat <laughs> ate him. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened. I'll he give you a trigger lock, left. too, obviously, you idiots. I could I could totally see though that uh, Jeff Flo is in on that with uh, Carol Baskins. Just look, just read the article and look at the picture. Like if you line up their fa- facial features, that's pretty fucking close. And then well, the, the whole story looks like about such a douchebag. The whole story with about how he clip. like acts like a millionaire, but he ain't got no money. Like Carol Baskins killed her husband, and, and now she's giving him money. So like it makes sense. But who knows? I mean, all you got to do is find out what her original husband's name was, and then the party's over. But it's fun to think about. Well, how do you know he didn't change his name? He might have. Uh-oh. Carol Baskins wasn't hitting the gym, so Jeff Lowe's like, I'm out. <laughs> right. Now, or, you're not or he keeping was it like, high and hey, tight. let's just say I disappeared, and we'll get the money, and you just pay me, you know, 40%. <clears throat> Who, man, maybe when she killed him, she got scared and freaked out and called him. Maybe. Oh, she, didn't, she didn't call Jeff Lowe. Maybe. No. She called another guy who had a good hookup on sardine oil. Shit. Getting That's what I'm saying. Ounce. Kayla got some at the supermarket the other day. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Caleb oh, he wants the sardine oil, oil doing in this cart. Uh, worry, yeah, that's why that cat's fucking going at you all crazy. Yeah. It's begun. It's sardine already oil. happening. My fingers. It's begun. Mama Cupcake would never. This shampoo smells like sardines. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just keep washing your hair. Keep washing your ass. I feel like there's a million things I want to, like, talk about, but, like... Well, go ahead. Get it, bro. <sighs> 
got any trophies down there you want to show us? What about a uh, possible? I trade? do have a trophy I can grab. What about a Bears grab trade it. for JJ Watt? Third place. What are you even talking about? That popped up on my little timeline today. The Bears have a possible trade in for JJ Watt. Oh, that will never happen. Yeah, why the fuck did they do that? They They just signed Quinn. And Quinn, yeah. There there was a... You know who they should have signed? Clowney. Did anybody sign Clowney yet? Oh, I don't think so. His asking price was $20 million a year, that's why. Then he knocked it down to 17. Uh, Trying to track these kids down. I don't have enough time to even peruse the web. Well, we gave five years 70 million. You mean to tell me five year 100 for clown? I mean, I don't know. Actually, <laughs> oh, dude, they've been they've been that, shitting but... on the Bears off season wonderfully in the media. I love yeah. it. Oh, just shitting on Ryan Pace. Possible. Well, Jimmy Graham was a fucking joke. Possible. Up, but you know what? What if he brings these guys in and they, they actually produce and gel good with the young guys and old guys? Possible worst offseason in history on some of the they moves. Just, they just well, want, I don't know about Chicago that. just wants everything to change. They want they want new again. I don't know. I've Everyone likes new shiny shit, bro. It's right. like when you have a decent car and you go to the dealership, the dude starts showing you, oh, look, it does this and does this. So, look, hey, you know, your car ain't, ain't that cool anymore. <laughs> you want it. You need that new backup camera with the fucking, it, not just a backup camera, now it's got the lines that shows your path. Right, yeah. So like, Fuck, my car doesn't I mean, your car still that. got yeah. you to A to B, though. That's what it was. Yeah, but that's what no, got no, it no. For, right? Come on, come on inside. I don't Put even have shiny new have toys. You want to touch it? I, I feel like the, the lesser of the group because my car doesn't have a backup camera. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, yeah, man. Shit happens, bro. Yeah. You're yeah. essential. Yeah. At least you're essential. True. I mean, you don't have a backup camera, but you're essential. You're essential, right. <laughs> yeah, no backup camera. <laughs> One day. I'm just going to... Where's that hazard pay? Getting that hazard sign, pay? Pound bro? sign goals, Dude, bro. Do you think we're getting hazard pay? Come on now. I told you last week, they call you essential because sacrificial would be too real. It's yeah. bullshit, though. I just feel bad for the people. Like like I said last week, these people that work like at fucking McDonald's risking their health to slang fucking burgers for seven bucks an hour. <laughs> that's right. grocery workers. Fuck. That's the high store it's crazy, workers. Man. Sad. Whatever. It's, it's it's funny to read all the conspiracy theories about this government's oh, keeping tons. inside keeping us inside so they can fucking take over oh. all this crazy shit coronavirus is it really real no, and then all the all the fucking some of these people in churches and shit just blow oh. my mind they're oh just my praying God, it away the dude on tv the dude on tv the dude who blew the dude who blew it away yeah god's wind Oh God's my wind God. took it away. It's gone. I it's fucking gone. <laughs> God's that dude wind looks like Satan personified. That dude is nuts. Have you ever heard him talk about? He was talking about how he needed a fucking G six jet. Oh yeah, yeah. Because he didn't want to be stuck in a regular airplane with all the demons. <laughs> He's like God. God spoke to me, and he told me I need a G six. I think Joe Rogan was talking about it because Joe Rogan or somebody said they're like, that's what like God with all the problems and all the shit going on. He spoke to you. And the yeah. only thing he told you was that you Get need a G6, G6. airplane. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. They're that's kidding. fucking hilarious. Lost you. Oh, what happened oh. to my camera? Oh, no. I'm moving too fast, bro. I'm moving too fast. <laughs> oh no, we lost Jeff. Shit's got me. Oh, let me uh, try and toggle this. Yeah, I don't know. We it? lost. Yeah, yeah, I'm toggling. That's what you do when shit's fucked up. You toggle it. So toggle it, bro. Now just we just got Frankie's big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> let me try and unplug this camera quick. Let's see what we got. Oh! Stand by. We are having technical difficulties. Uh, this whole podcast is a technical difficulty. 
They all can't be home runs. So what happens when everyone starts going out again after the world's back to normal next year? So many DUIs. <laughs> so many DUIs. <laughs> so many DUIs. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Oh, there oh. he is. Look at him. Well, I'm not here. Oh, he switched sides. I don't know. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get in here. You're here. We see you. here. Hello. Washing all made so many DUIs and just horrible, horrible kids coming out of this. Well, just remember, guys, just remember God's wind is coming and it's blowing <laughs> all over the place. So pretty soon. I didn't hear that one. <laughs> that dude is I didn't hear one You have to, though. this guy, this guy, he, he's the one that used to sell the water. That and it was curing cancer. Yes. He with holy sell water. these water bottles, hold the water, and they're claiming that this lady had cancer. This is the problem with this bullshit. It's someone's gonna listen to this and be like, "Well, I need, I don't need to take chemotherapy anymore. I'm gonna drink this water. It cures cancer." And then people yeah. die from a it. A month later, they're dead. Right. This is the the craziness of all this shit. The, these the, magic the, healers. You know, Where do you six supply? I need a job. I'm laid off. So. Where did, well, how much is uh, how much are you slinging holy water for? All the money. <sighs> all the money. Give me I all your money. And I'll give you this bottle of holy water. I can't remember this dude's name. I'm gonna look it up right now. Uh, look at him. Like, water. He was thinking about when he was gonna look it up, <laughs> and then he said, "He was power of technology. Better be careful. Don't 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 fuck up your camera again." He was legitimately staring into the camera. Just, he's one of those. All right, here's one of the one of the guys is Peter, Peter Popoff. Wait, what was it? Peter Popoff. Peter Popoff. Peter Popoff. Pop so he's the guy. He was uh, there was a famous magician called James uh, James Randy, and he used to debunk people all the time. He had this challenge. You would win a million dollars if you could prove that you can do, like, real magic and shit. Yeah. So all these people would come in that were, like, spoon benders. Oh, the guy that all was moving shit. the pages of the book. with his Yeah, they would move the pages of the book, and he would, he would show people how they're doing it. And these people, like... Yeah, like... Uh, they still have to believe in him and shit. Yuri so Geller. Guy, Peter, you... Yuri Geller was the spoon bender. Yes, yes. And him, they fucking hate each other because yeah. this guy, the amazing Randy, was his name, um, used to prove him wrong all the fucking time. and they, they couldn't fucking stand each other. But the Peter Popoff used to have people come in and then uh, he would be like, is there a, is there a, a, a Jenny in here? from somewhere and then you know stand up stand up jenny you're suffering from blah 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 and they're like oh my god like how is how is he doing this yeah because they gave so then the... they find out that he was wearing an earpiece yeah and his wife was like radioing it in all this shit so they had a box at the beginning of the show and you would fill out you know what you're praying for and your name and where you live and then you would put it in a box in the back of the room and it was like locked is the, pr the prayer while box. the show is Yes, while the show was going on, the dude's wife, this Peter Popoff, his fucking wife would grab the box and they would replace it with another box so it looks like it was still there. And then she would go in the back, open the box. Oh, we got a Jennifer from fucking Sacramento who's and has brain cancer. So he would act like he's a fucking psychic on stage. That's how sick this fucking dude is. Well, that's like that Benny Hinn dude that hits the people with this jacket and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Where, the, where you do the and the whole crowd falls over how do you care did you see there and it's mashed up with the fucking yeah, the, Mortal Kombat or the Street Fighter sounds yeah. <laughs> yeah. just be safe if you, I mean I understand people you, they want to believe in a in a higher power and that you know where the, this all just didn't didn't happen you know God made all this and we're his special children and it does help people it helps people to be like a community and it gives people strength like, like hey i i'm not religious at all but you know when something serious happens i just you know i'm 
Yeah. You're in my you're in my prayers, you know. You're yeah. in my thoughts. At Tease least and I try and say thoughts and prayers. Right, but you know, I don't really, I don't really pray. But I mean, it, it does does help people. So I I I can't knock it a hundred percent. But when you got guys doing this fucking shit, like just straight up robbing people and giving people false hopes and lies, that shit pisses me the fuck off. Well, I, yeah, that's though you you gotta. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some kind of common sense, too. Just like, I, I mean, there, there's so many things, though. What about the guy that first came out and said, you know, I got this thing that cures this disease? It's magic. Mm-mm. It's medicine. Well, that's. Well, yeah, it goes you know back I mean? to the like, snake oil salesman, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Since back, since back in the covered wagon oil. days, they've been fucking. Pulling these scams. <laughs> well, that, that's like what the, about uh, the dude that came in with selling toothbrushes. Well, I don't need those. And uh, I got well, this how many people stick. died? <laughs> right? How many people died at twenty-five years old from gum disease and shit right. like that before we had hygiene? Well, that's like like now the the big scam is the this is so and so from the IRS and you owe us this much money if you don't pay us now. We're taking. Yeah, it. there's a PSA. The IRS does not call you. The ever. IRS sends you a letter in the mail. If you ever get Don't a call from the IRS, you. hang the fucking phone up. <laughs> I had I had one. I got of those a calls. text today from a random number that said my iPhone 11 purchase was declined. Um, resign, resend uh, your information uh, for your free iPhone uh, at this. Yeah, uh, I link hope you didn't or do whatever. that. No, well, I didn't. Frankie, do you remember when your fucking grandparents fucking called you? Because someone, someone yes. called your grandparents and said you were fucking in trouble in Mexico. So they called you. They're like, where are you? Are you okay? They're yeah, like, someone called my grandparents are... and told them I was in a hospital. I got in a bar fight. And I'm in Mexico. And I got in a bar fight and my jaw is broken. And I need $5,000 to pay for the hospital bills and to get out of jail so I can go home. And they said, what? Who? Well, who do you have? And they, and obviously my grandparents said my name, and they're like, oh yeah, 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 we got Frankie. Yeah, yeah and then, let me talk to him. Oh, his jaw's broke. He can't talk. Send the money to this account. They literally were on their way to the bank to get the money, and called me and said, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" And I'm like, "What? I'm at work. What happened?" They're like, "Someone just called and said that you you know gave us this number and told us to go to the bank and and wire." five thousand dollars down and but and i was like do not do that yeah you were telling me they didn't even believe you that you were okay <laughs> you had to tell yeah, them like repeatedly sure? no i'm yes. not in mexico i'm, I'm at work, at work. <laughs> like don't oh, you think you i'm going to tell you i'm going to mexico i'll see when i get back like i am not in mexico they <laughs> they were but now let's say they do that and they called Let's say each call takes five minutes, and they worked for three or four hours that day, and they called a hundred people, and one person that's a right. day. That's that's not working. That's just hustling. No, yeah, scam. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if someone scams someone in four hours of five thousand dollars, well, and let's say they only did that out of the out of you know the seven days a week that they call for a couple hours a day, what if they got two people a week now they're making 10 grand a week and they're making you know what i'm saying 52 weeks a year do the math jesus also the irs doesn't need itunes gift cards <laughs> you don't have to yeah. pay them in gift cards from fucking target <laughs> there's one where a guy the, the, the guy knew he was getting like scammed so he he bought a bunch of gift cards and shit and then he started just spending it while he was talking to the guy <laughs> he's like no 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 you need to send to me he's like well what about this big screen here can i just buy this i got these gift cards yes you send those gift cards to me he's like all right i just bought an xbox no no <laughs> the dude that was fucking hilarious uh, I, I always when I get to Google that calls, one I love to right after the Peter pop shit. off. Google it. Google it. G six boys. It. That was O Town's yeah, website. Yeah, I I do feel like that would is a that's a good message that the Lord would give someone though. 
don't well, ride commercial God's with all work. the demons. He's doing God's work, so he needs to like he needs to get there in style. You don't want him on a fly commercial with all the peasants, do you? He's got to get there, bro. It's hard right. to fly from fucking New York to Texas to to you know Chicago to to California. I mean, it's hard to book these flights with all these demons. It comes with a price when you're saving America. They ain't saving Plus, shit. they fly, they fly there's, higher too. I hear it's be closer to God. Special place in hell for those people. That's what I'm saying. Special place in hell for those guys. Well, those are the people that are supposed to be, you know, doing God's work, and people trust them, and then they're just fucking. They're just <laughs> robbing people. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Just robbing Sickens people. Me. Especially when we got something going on, like what's going on right now. Like people are panicking, people are scared. And then you're telling people you're just going to fucking... Corona's God's gone. wind is coming. Corona's like, gone. What? Go back to work. You don't need to go to the hospital. God's wind. It's coming. Don't worry. It's in... It's it's just starting. It came from New York. It's traveling. Right? Yeah, I heard it some lady that was saying God's saving her because she's not going to get it because of... Uh, she, she drank God's blood. And it's like, great. So you went and drank out of a cup at mass with a bunch of other people that were there drank from that same cup people are, no the, god the, that's, that's what the, spread, another corona. thing they were allowing ch- some churches were like fighting to stay open like idiots right just let it go like <sighs> like we're crazy. still watching shit we're still doing a podcast yep. like why can't i sit here and watch sunday mass well that was I, right I go did there you, did you well see they're what? missing out on all that that cheddar, there's that a, basket right. ain't getting passed around right now. There's a pastor. Church is a business. And I think he was in Milwaukee. Business is bad. They're doing takeout communions for Easter. Oh, boy. They made a oh, box, yeah. and they have, like, coffee. They look like coffee creamer cups, but they're the blood of Christ. Mm. I wonder what it is. Is it wine? It's wine. <sighs> You mean I can get like little shots of wine? Like, little, where can little. you buy those in like massive quantity? <laughs> I need a case of the coffee creamers of wine. <laughs> can I get thirty six boxes of those little coffee creamer wine? I like doing wine oh, shooters. Those are so cute, <laughs> right? No <Yeah>, shooters. <laughs> I did three hundred and sixty seven shooters today, <laughs> <laughs> which equivalented to a bottle and a half of wine. <laughs> I'm fucked up. It is another thing. Actually, I wanted to buy a bottle of Jameson last time I went to the store like two weeks ago. And they didn't have any. Really upset. Do they have no chicken at Walmart? None. The chicken's gone. Did you? I did hear that something that there's like a virus that's affecting chickens from the corona. Did you hear about Illinois shutting liquor up. stores at nine o'clock every night now? They're what? It liquor stores? They're closing liquor stores at nine o'clock every night. That? Don't they close them at nine anyway? I was Illinois was till that's always been like that. Or that's the hard stuff, right? You yeah, couldn't get Illinois hard liquor after till, nine. Usually till midnight they sell. So yeah, they are uh, shutting liquor stores down at nine p.m. There was a big rumor around that they were going to shut down liquor stores and all kinds of shit, liquor sales. And I was like, you are literally going to kill people. They will never shut down liquor sales. <clears throat> Well, you can't because, uh, I, I, honestly, like, if you take serious hard drugs, you could, like, quit cold turkey. Like, you'll sweat, you'll puke, you'll feel like you're on death's door. But, yeah. like, if, you just, if you're a serious alcoholic and you stop drinking, you could seriously die. Yeah, because your body fucking goes into shock. Yeah, so, like, you can't, those people, those sick people need their medicine. You look like worried, Jeff. Which by the I time am worried. after after this, I got twelve bottles of Tito's. I spent my whole COVID nineteen check. <laughs> Tito's. And, and, and Tito's after, after this quarantine, I'm gonna need a dry out period because I've been drinking constantly. Yeah, it's definitely turning me into an alcoholic. Yeah, but I never drink you. during the week. I'm I'm at least having two drinks every night, <laughs> and they're thick. <laughs> thick. See, but that's your logic. If you fill it up to the brim, 
and then just put a little splash of Mio in there. Gotcha, and gotcha. you're like, well, I only yeah, had one in a Wednesday. Wednesday. It's, it's okay. okay. Well, well yeah, yeah, that's, that's like, like 13, 13 glasses if, if you, you were, were to make them with ice and, and mixer. mixer. Yeah, but you just pour it all in one glass and just put a little bit of flavoring to the vodka. My vodka straight in a glass. My lady last night, she's like, she's like, you make me a drink. So she drank it and, you know, her cheeks puckered up. She's like, holy fuck. She's like, I don't know if there's too much alcohol or too much Mio. And I was like, both. I put too much alcohol in it. So then I put too much Mio to counter it. Cover it up. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's just, I remember you made me one of those pink lemonade things. It's seriously, I don't know, I don't like vodka, but I don't know what was worse, the pink lemonade or the vodka. I, think it was the well, I put lemonade. so much vodka in it, that if I didn't put so much pink lemonade in it, you would have spit it right back out. It's too much. Yeah, Jeff gets stiff-fisted when he's fucking pouring drinks for everybody else. Uh, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I just think that he pours them like he pours them for himself. Yeah, yeah that's get out of my problem. level or get out of my house. <laughs> right. Don't ask me to make your drinks then. That's, that, yeah, and that that's the difference, too. Like, I can't drink like that. Jeff it's lives 50, by... 50, 50. I don't know how to pour it any other way. All right, guys? You pour it for... You, you put the ice in there, then you pour it till it's halfway, and then you put water, and then me, you know, that's it. That's all I know. Yeah. Jeff lives Make by your own goddamn logic. popcorn. Jeff lives by my logic. I only had one beer last night because I never finished the last sip out of the first beer, so it's just one continuous <sighs> beer. Until you get to the end of the last one you're going to drink, it might be 12 beers later. You yeah, just leave a more sip. Lies. Now yeah. you're lying to yourself. First your daughter, now you. You just leave a sip. All the way through. You just leave I don't think that that works. Here. Yeah? Yeah. You don't. You know what's definitely happening? One. You don't finish your first one. You know what's you know definitely what I... happening? I'm falling out of this chair. Oh. And, and you know what? We're at an hour and seven minutes, so. I just want to say, you know what I don't miss from being at the bars and when you used to be able to smoke at the bar? Stinking. Fucking when I... No, when I go to take a swig of my beer and forgot that I that's my ashtray. <laughs> my ashtray beer. Oh god, yeah, when we were DJing especially. Oh yeah, you put your cigarette out in your Oh, you had like a little sip left, so you put your cigarette yeah. out in it. Pretty soon everyone that's like the cigarette thing and then yeah, you go and chug it and Oh, hey, hey shout like out Like drinking to, the bong water. Shout out to our boy Ryan. Our boy Black Ryan that fucking popped up on the map again. <laughs> oh yeah, he's back in town. Oh my god, I haven't talked We're to him. We're gonna have a dance off in the garage. I told him to dance off. Mm-hmm. Jeff Jeff has him on the phone and he's telling him how much I love certain people that I obviously hate. The it was so of... funny because <laughs> I could pe- hear you screaming. But, uh, so I'm talking to I'm talking to Ryan and. Sean's on the headset and he's talking about like, have you seen Marcus and and Ben and blah blah blah? And I'm like, nah. Sean still hangs out with them. They call themselves the tripod. <laughs> and all I hear is like, Sean in my headset. Fuck you, Jeff. That's Jeff. Fuck you. <laughs> Kayla's laughing her ass off. I'm screaming, fuck you. That's fucking hilarious. Because oh shit, we figured out how to split the headsets now. So if we can have two headsets on one controller. Stop touching that pussy. Yeah. So that was. You should turn the camera off, Jeff, before you get weird. Black. Yeah. All right. Our it's boy. Getting weird. Oh, Chewbacca banana and mama cupcake. Those eat this. cats. He's definitely trying to figure out a way into that thing. Look at him. I feel like a, shooting a snuff film right now. <laughs> He's like, let me figure out how to open this door, and I'm going to eat How do I get in there? Hamster. Or gerbil, or whatever uh, the fuck it is. It's a dwarf hamster. Yeah. Why? It looks big to me, like a normal one. Look, that's a cat, Frankie. That's not the hamster. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's in the cage? What the 
<laughs> fuck is that? Cats in the cradle. Stewie's <laughs> And I don't know why. Alright, well. So, I just want to say, why, while we're doing all this, I have been writing a, a, a new a album. A ballot? A power ballot? No, a new album. I'm, I got some new songs, so, some new material coming out for us to lay down this summer. Uh, so, we'll, we'll have a Gentleman's Den uh, album maybe for Christmas and uh, a bunch of tracks that we could put out. Oh, we'll see if... Uh, I can't wait. What? Well, I, I got I got I got some good vocals for you, some solos for you. You, you you're the you're the bassy guy there, Sean. In my head, I sound very quiet. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah well, you need to get your fucking ears checked. <laughs> I really do. I really sound very quiet, and normal, and then there's no way my voice sounds like it does. But all right, there's too much pussy on this camera and, and this podcast. I think you're gonna have to. And Steve's <laughs> making a brief appearance behind me right now. Stewie! Goddamn chug. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to smoke a bunch of dope, guys, and then uh, play some more games if you guys are down. Are we are we doing the TGD gaming tonight? We are you guys going to be... Look at that fucking... Look at that tiger! I uh, saw it. one. Grab its paws. Front ones. Grab the front ones. There it is. There it is. Get them, mama. Get them. Fucking sandpaper tongues. I hate cats. Yeah. Sorry. They're cool. They're little tigers. Trust me. I think they're awesome. I'm allergic, and I don't like them. Just got my hand. Just... I can't put my hand or claws. Claws are in thick. It's the sardine ah. oil. It's the sardine, sardine oil. oil. Back away slow. Okay. Kayla switched out his beard oil with sardine oil. oil. <laughs> yeah. Going right for the throat. Rear. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, boys. All right. Let's get real raunchy now and get on the line. <laughs> All right. With that being said, that brings us to another... End of another edition of The Gentleman's Den. For Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and hopefully you're staying safe and healthy. And we'll see you again next week with another fun-filled edition of The Gentleman's Den. Thanks. And once again, if you need Gentleman's Den merch, go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. They're still making shirts for the people, so please go order them. And I'm actually going to go on there tonight and see if they make masks. And we'll make get some Gentleman's Den masks going. Ooh! But until then, yes. That's shop. Um, get that, uh, that magic water, too. The magic water, yes. Yeah. Shop.spreadshirt.com yeah. backslash the hyphen Gentleman's hyphen den. Once again, thanks for listening. We'll see you again back here. On the internet next week. (laughs) Thanks, guys.